guys welcome back to another video on my channel today we have a special video today's video is sponsored by max peening rods if i can have a second of your time check out this little clip and i'll get back to you So today we have a little special video, something different. Um, we have Connor here. Connor, Connor, Connor. I bought a new daily drifter. Daily drifter. And I put on washers. And it and kinda it, sucks. And tell me, tell me why did you put on washers? It looks cool. It's very low, and it rides horrible. I thought it wouldn't ride that bad. It does. <laughs> So, Alex hasn't ever been in it, so we're going to see his. Yeah, so today we have, explain, explain the car real quick, just like a little. It's a BMW Z3, and we took the springs out and then replaced the springs with washers. So, <laughs> uh, you're going to get roasted, Collins. Nothing moved. It's yeah, just the tire. it's literally just all tire movement. And so for all you static boys out there, this is what it's supposed to be. But yeah, no. Um, right now, apparently, Z3s are the the hype car right now. Um, as you guys saw, that Jimmy Oaks got one for his mother, the Drift, and that thing is actually pretty decently nice. Um, I know Drift HQ, the the guys over there have a couple of Z3s, but um, I guess Connor decided to get his Z3 of his own. Yeah. So tell me why. Why is E3? Yeah, why? Well, I want an E36, but E36 prices are going really high right now. So, it was cheap, real drive, manual, and they rip. So... Yeah, can't complain. Can't complain. I like these. Um, it's just, I've never really driven one before, so this is like my first time. Like I've driven like a, a brand new one, but I haven't driven it like far, so... Yeah. And then I'm driving one of these now, and then it's slamming with nuts, and... We're both both deep into it, going to a gas station. Yep. Because <laughs> we gotta we gotta do the before reaction, and then after we're gonna be putting Max peening rods coils on it, just because uh, you regret your decision, don't you? Slight regrets. Slight regrets. Hey, it's the name of the game. But uh, let's get to oh the test. God, we're already screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is this is gonna be my first washer. I've driven a car with hockey putts, and it wasn't as low, but, yeah, and also we, we live on a dirt road here, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Definitely feel, uh, it's going to be a, a titty jiggler. It's not. 
I mean, until you hit like a pothole. Oh, the, the road about to go on. It's it's terrible. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you. Oh. I, I think another road. It's not that bad. You just scrape the system. Oh. I would keep moving if I were you. Are we stuck? No. Oh. We're just dragging a bunch of rocks. That's, that's literally all we're doing, we're dragging a bunch of rocks. Let off and coast. <laughs> there goes the rock. Tell me you're a BMW owner without telling me you're a BMW owner. <laughs> it's still the road that's really gonna test these uh, washers out. side down yeah, this road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, you're, you're just going to be scraping everything. The job to this? Oh, God. The job to this, Connor? Yes, John. All right, so shout out to John. I'll it's, put his Instagram right here in his uh, company that he does. Nope. That's second. I forgot I was in third. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put his Instagram right here. Hit him up. Specializes in BMW tunes, but he can tune just about anything as long as you give him some time. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to John. He does all the purple stuff. It's so loud. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's like your usual BMW. Yeah. Every time I see someone with a verbal tune, like I hear him drive by, I'm like, oh, what an asshole. And then like, I'm sitting here like doing it everywhere I go. It's only, it's something that's only fun when you do it. All right, so we were almost at the house and then um, kind of wanted the drive to show me like the true potentials of this E3. And uh, you got a little, uh, we got a little squirrely and uh, um, this is where we ended up. <laughs> Any car ever would be able to just back out. Oh yeah, of course. No, it, it, it's 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 beached. It's beached. Uh, that's that's the one downside of uh, having a super low car. It's just beached. Yeah, I and mean, then you can't really tell on camera, but it's like a, a decent sized hump right here. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the house now. We're not stuck anymore. Right now we're currently jacking up the Z3 um, to get to the rear end because the rear end is going to be the easiest if i if i know correctly it should be just a spring and bucket setup as usual with a shock um, yeah did you see there's no spring but there's a bucket and there's a shock and then the washer's up there <laughs> yeah so uh, if you're really down bad and really need the cheap out i guess that's one way to do your suspension as you can see nice max heating rod box Shout out to Max Bean Rods. Uh, we have the coilovers for them. Um, the situation with the Z3s is that they're kind of E36 front suspension, E30 rear suspension. So it's kind of hard to get coilovers for this thing, especially like more on the cheaper end. I'm pretty sure BC has like a, BC, yeah, yeah, they have, have like a real true coilover for this car. It's but they have this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they get what I mean. Like they actually have one made for this. But for Max Bean Rods, what we go with, we went with like a 90 something like E36 coilover yeah. and it should fit. I'm like 90% sure. But if it, you know, if we had to make some modifications, we gotta make some modifications. But other than that, you know, you can't beat it. You know, you have about 250 to $300 worth coilovers that, you know, that aren't bad. I mean, you, you rode in I my car. In your car, uh, Jordan's car, yeah. Marx's Miata. Yeah, and like, they're not bad. They're great. Like, like, the only thing I did to the coilovers was just get stiffer springs. And it changed it, changed it uh, completely. And it feels like, because I've, I've, 
I've had like uh, teen or time coilovers. I've had Racelands. I meant Racelands are like kind of competitors to Max Bean Rods, but I've had like their Primos, which is the blue and white ones. They're like multi um, dampening setup coilovers. And I've, you know, I've obviously written in BCs and all that stuff. And it's not that far off. It's just my thing you guys know try to you know try to work with your budget don't try to go overkill i mean obviously you can just save up and get like the true parts but you know if you're really on a budget and you're just trying to get it low or somewhat better than stock go with what you got so yeah i'm gonna take the wheel rear wheels off and we'll uh show you how it goes also just open the box here my handy dandy multi-tool for you oh the orange classic orange so oh you know you have your perch you have your spring and then front coil over and then you have your shocks right here in the rear you can get some camera in here too. yeah oh. yeah the camera plates you have the dampening still out. so like i said like these coil overs aren't bad you know they, these ones have uh multi-dampening set up you know st soften or stiffen the shock and then obviously co uh the coilovers have the adjustable top hats or camber can't complain you really can't complain but yeah like i said we take the wheels off and we'll get started yeah so um have the shock out and as you can see that that was his his suspension right there <laughs> That thing uh, is, this is one of the better ones. Yeah. A lot of the top hats are, the bushings in them are just gone. Gone. Yeah. But you see, in comparison to the Max Beating Rods one, you already have an inch and a half of drop, and you still have adjustment for the coilover because I know it's not bottomed out. It is. Oh, is it bottomed out now? Oh. Okay, this is bottomed out. But overall, inch and a half drop, and then putting the spring in. So basically, all you had to do was. Uh, for these rear ends, there is the, what was it, 18? Yep, 18. 18 bolts right here that connects to the shock and the 13 inch uh, bolts up there. Take it out, shock falls out. And on a normal car, uh, well, a normal Z3, you still, you still have the spring in here, but you'll be able to push this down enough to where you can get the spring out. But if you don't have it where you could push it out as easy as it can be, you can just take out the sway bar and link and it'll, it'll drop it a decent amount as well. Yeah, here's a fun story on how we got those out. <laughs> we didn't have a pry bar, but we did have a Miata front uh, sway bar. <laughs> easy as that. It's in. Um, we took a couple of the the lock rings out and stuff like that just because like we're he's trying to go for low, but it also is going to be a lot better for uh, a lot better than no spring and just washes in the shock and so it'll probably feel a lot better and on the z3s so since this being an e30 rear end yeah we're putting e36 rear coilovers in the for an e36 it's going to be taller yeah so slightly by, slightly taller so by taking these out it's going to fit like a, a e30 rear end yeah like yeah. yeah but later down the road he could just change the spring upgrade the spring to a smaller yeah. one stiffer one so it's like you know but overall we'll still have the adjustments yeah we'll still have the adjustments and everything so, so. this i might not, it's, not it's, this is just temporary yeah this is this is temporary but right now it's just so we can compensate for it being an e30 rear end versus a e36 front end so that's that's like the minor things uh with these cars that are like kind of weird but it's, it's like legos yep. so you know everything mismatches and stuff like that so let's get we'll the shock in install is. don't forget they give you brand new hardware i was so, gonna forget those yeah <laughs> brand new hardware and it's gonna be different size probably be, uh gonna That's be a 12. Four, 12 or 14 but let's just stick it in and yeah so this side is in um had to make a slight adjustment to the the shock itself we had to uh raise it just to get the bolt in but then obviously you could adjust it by hand to where you twist it to put it back to the right height you want right now we have it fully maxed and uh right now we're about to do the other side and then i'll get back to you guys once we're on the front and uh ready to drop the rear end to see how it looks obviously it's not going to be tucking like it was before but obviously like i said connor can change 
um, things if he wants to. And also you gotta remember, since it's an E36 coilover and the rear end's E30, there's gonna be slight differences. And right now we're just being the guinea pig for this, so. All right, so now we have the front jacked up and uh, <laughs> once again. Hey yo, what the fuck? Cheap, low life, but eventually you're gonna hurt your back. But top, it's gonna be three bolts. Bottom, two bolts. Three. Is it three? It's on the side and one on the top. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Right there. You have that one right there. Two at the bottom. All right, so right now the Max Beam Rod coilover is on on the front. As you can see, we have it basically kind of fully maxed out. And then we have the camber plate fully maxed out and it actually added a decent amount of camber. So you just gotta see how it looks when it's on the ground. And obviously do adjustments from there. And, uh, but so, uh, so far the front fit perfectly fine. Um, the bolt holes for the bottom, um, as long as you line it up perfectly, they will go in, but sometimes they have a slight difference in like measurement holes. So if you have to, you could slide it out a little bit, but regardless, um, it should be a perfect fit. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get to the other side. And uh, then afterwards we'll show you the walk around of the car. All right guys, so as you can see, it is now nighttime and uh, we're still here. Um, so what happened was uh, we were trying to adjust the rear coilover some more because the it's obviously a little offsetting. Like I said, um, these are E36 coilovers and with the Z3, the rear end is E30. So it's slightly higher than uh, what you would normally want for your ride height. And uh, as we were trying to adjust it, Connor got a little too antsy. and didn't want to wait for me to get two seconds from my car to get the other jack to help get the weight off of the bolt. And, uh, but uh, what are you doing down there? What are you doing down there, bud? Uh, we're oh, coiling. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice tap you got there. So yeah, we, we, we're on a venture. First, we're trying to find a, a different bolt because the threads are fine. And um, then the threads became not fine. And then we took a trip to AutoZone again and got the helical kit. But then we had to find a bolt. So we had to take a trip to Lowe's. And then, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so right now we're in the process of doing a helical kit on the rear lower control arm because um, for the Z3, the rear lower control arm is also the knuckle. So in order to replace that, you would have to replace the knuckle, the hub, all that, just to get uh, the threads. So uh, so what we went with is helicoil, and he's just tapping the threads right now to accept the helicoil. And uh, yeah, definitely a fun time right now. Definitely a fun time. But uh, what, what's gonna happen is that I'm probably gonna have to pick this up on a different day when um, Connor has time to do uh, a reaction to the coilovers being in. All right guys, so we have a successful Healy coil. Um, Connor's just adjusting the, um, the strut to the height that we're gonna ha have it at. And uh, yeah very successful usually it's a 50 50 shot with these helicoils just because sometimes they work sometimes they don't so thankfully it did and now connor can get home and and then go to work super early in the morning and then like i said we'll reconnect again once it's uh my turn to test drive the car see how it feels give it a little rippy ski rip ski and then yeah but obviously, you know, you guys will see this when this video is out. So it'll be some time. All right, guys. So it's been a week. And um, since the last video, the uh, last part of the video you saw, uh, we installed the coilovers. We did the successful Healy coil. And uh, Connor, how, how has the car been treating you? It's so amazing. As soon as I pulled out on this dirt road, I could notice, like, I actually had suspension travel. And it rode better than any, like, car that I think would be, I don't know, it worked really good, better than any stock car I've ever been in, which isn't much, but, <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it's, but it's great. But so far, you it's uh, it's definitely a better upgrade than uh, your uh, the washes. The washes. So. See, it, so, this, so this is gonna be my first reaction to them being on the car. It's already, still low. Already, yeah, already we're still dragging. Sticks like four inches down. Send it because we're gonna get. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> now my car is like, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't but, get stuck. But now, like now that we're on the road, that's actually like maintained. Yeah. It's not bad. Before, before we were still bouncing no matter. Oh what yeah, you're. But this feels like any road down, any car down these roads. Pretty much. Really. Still, still stiff, but not like crazy. Yeah, it's not bad at all. From what, from what I felt before to this, it's it's definitely a huge improvement. statics now which are yeah. 17 like hundred dollar coilovers yeah. and he was like tell me how much like how very similar this rides to his car which is sick because these are what the retail for 230 yeah it's something like, like it's that like, it's like 250 to 300 dollars after tax versus probably static coilovers that are on like twice almost triple time of stiffer uh springs and you know you're paying roughly almost two grand for some coilovers versus that and you know it's a, it's a, it's a big comparison. guys so i think that's gonna be it for this video um it's kind of all over the place towards the end just because obviously uh you know i had to relink with connor to get the test drive again and i didn't really get a good uh after look of the car how, how it sits i'll put a picture in right now the car feels so much better with the max beating rods coilovers and um obviously that's a given you know he was on washers literal washers and but you know connor asked me to help him out so i did and uh you know i'm happy to help him out in any way i can so you know that's that's just who i am but uh, i want to thank max p and rods for sponsoring this video 
And if you guys have any questions, uh, put it down in the comments below. Oh, before I go, I want to uh, I want to give a huge shout out to you guys because you guys killed the last video, blew my expectations about that, and the support I got out of the video is truly amazing. And um, I, I just want to thank you guys because uh, the stuff like that it makes me want to keep going. And you know, we're just gonna keep going. So uh, yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, put it down in the comments what you guys want to see next. Um, the link for the Max Bean Rods coilovers for the um, Z3 will be in the link description below. And check out all the other links that I have in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.